Hi, my name is Ian. I'm in the CS Card team. I'd like to present you advanced product import in CS Card. We released this feature in CS Card and MultiVendor 4A1. Let me tell you why it's so cool. Product import in CS Card allows the store manager to quickly add new products to the catalog and update the catalog. To do it, a manager gets a file with products from the supplier and uploads it to CS Card. Then CS Card scans the file and updates the catalog. This is the perfect case. But in real life, things often get more complicated. Different suppliers send data in various forms. For example, the column names in the supplier file might be different from what CS Card requires. Or the file format can be XML and not commonly used CSV. So, if you import the supplier file as is, you might have problems with imported products and you'll have to spend a lot of time to fix those errors manually. The new advanced product import helps you avoid this problem. It simplifies the import process and reduces time spent on this procedure. Let's take a look at its advantages and learn how to perform an advanced product import. Let's say you got an import file and the names of its columns differ from what is required by CS Card. For example, the product name column is called item and CS Card needs it to be called product name. Without advanced product import, you have to open the file in the text editor and manually change the column names. And once you make a preset for this file in advanced product import, you'll be able to import files from that supplier quickly and easily without any manual work. First, you need to match the fields from the supplier's file with the fields required by CS Card. Go to Administration, Import Data, Products. Click the plus button to add a new import preset. We call it Preset because once you match the fields, you can use it for future imports from the same supplier. Then upload the import file and click Create. Now switch to the Fields Mapping tab and match the fields. This is where the column names of the imported file are, as well as the CS Card product properties. In our example, we need to match the item column with the right property in CS Card, and this property is product name. That's it. Do the same for other fields, and once you've done that, click Import. On the Settings tab, you can tick a special box to only import the first five products, just to make sure the import goes smoothly. Modifiers in Advanced Product Import automatically change the value of any product property for multiple products during the import process. For example, you choose to increase prices by 10%. You'll have to go a long way to change the prices manually in the import file. But thanks to modifiers, prices and other product properties can be changed automatically during the import by the desired value. Check it out. Take a look at the fourth column on the Advanced Product Import page. It's called Modifier. Modifiers look like formulas. You can see all available modifiers on the Modifiers list. Each modifier is explained. So let's increase the prices by 10%. Find the price field and in the modifier column, insert the multiplying modifier with the required value. Now click Import. All the prices are increased by 10%. Magic! Advanced Product Import has two more handy features that simplify the import procedure. The first is running the import via cron. Cron is a server job scheduler. You can program it to execute time-based jobs on your server. Product Import, for example. As product import is a regular procedure, you'll have to spend time every day updating your catalog. Or you can just schedule the import via cron and spend your time on more important things. The second handy feature is the XML file support. We had multiple requests for it because there are many suppliers that only provide XML files. In advanced product import, you can work with XML files just like you work with CSV. So, advanced product import definitely reduces time spent on importing products and checking the results. Hope this feature will come in handy. See you!